love him so when he flips that dough he's pizza boy usa what is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony right now there is a stay at home order for the state of pennsylvania thanks to the governor so i am staying at home behind me is stangosaurus it's been a while since it is stangosaurus video so that's what we will be doing today. Today will be the top five essential mods for your Ford Mustang. And really, this is any Ford Mustang. This could be Fox Body, New Edge, S197, S550, like this, or whatever. And also, before we get started, I did want to mention all of these parts that I'm going to list in this video are all available on cjponyparts.com. If you wanted to save some money while you're there, go ahead and type in the code CJSOCIAL6 for 6% off when you get to the checkout screen. So hopefully that'll save you guys some money there too. And so, but before we get started, when I say essential, I mean top five essential Mustang mods, meaning they should have come with the Mustang from the factory in my opinion. But good news is they're all relatively inexpensive on this list. So you still should be able to relatively get them pretty easily if you wanted to. So what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and start with number one on the list. So there's your answer for number one right there, you guys, being hood struts. And so you guys probably already know, factory Mustang comes with a prop rod. So therefore, you have this little rod that comes up right here and goes into that hole right there. Of course, it's been disconnected because I put hood struts on Stegosaurus here and that is a much better situation, especially if you're gonna be doing some work under the hood. But having said that, the odd thing is the only hood struts you can really get are on the Shelby GT500 and even the new Camaros actually come with hood struts instead of the prop rod. So I'm not sure why Ford hasn't gone with hood struts yet for the Mustang, but nonetheless, as far as what I would recommend when it comes to hood struts is there's two particular brands I would go with. Ford Performance is actually what I am using right now in Stegosaurus, that's what you guys are looking at, but Cervini also makes some really good ones as well. I've heard a lot of my friends get them and they hold up just as well as Ford Performance, of course. Generally, these are gonna range you anywhere from the ballpark of $70 to $100. They're, so they're relatively inexpensive there. They are super easy to install as well. I've actually made an installation video on my channel. Feel free to scroll all the way to the bottom of the main page, you'll see the Stegosaurus source videos you'll be able to find it there if you're interested but overall that is my first essential mod that the ford mustang definitely should have come standard with and it is available for literally every single mustang whether it be you have an ecoboost or a gt or an older mustang whatever the case they are available on cjpennyparts.com and now let's go ahead and make our way to number two on the list while we have our hood open here it's so a number two on my list. Let me zoom in here for you guys. That is a JLT oil separator, also referred to as a catch can. And so essentially what that is, it's gonna be a huge benefit for really any direct injected engines. They essentially prevent oil and other contaminants from causing buildup inside your engine's intake manifold. Without this particular mod, you're essentially going to experience more quickly loss of power, things like rough idling, increased fuel consumption, stuff like that basically. So if you can prevent that, of course you probably should try to. So these are typically priced from 150 to 200 dollars depending upon the year of course and i know i've shown you guys this before but let me show you that this particular device actually works here let's go ahead and unscrew it and we'll see what is actually captured inside of there So next particular modification I wanted to highlight for you guys really should have come standard on the Mustang GT at least that minimum is a resonator delete or some kind of exhaust that was a little more pronounced than the stock exhaust system that the Mustang does come with. So stock exhaust, it, it actually sounds pretty good, but Mustangs come with a ton of power from the factory, 460 horsepower. So why not have your car sound as fast as it actually is? And so there's a couple different options here. There's an X pipe and an H pipe. That X pipe is gonna give you more of a classic Mustang rasp and actually had an X pipe originally installed by Mudgets Auto Body in Maryland. So if you guys are in the Maryland area, feel free to hit up Mudgets Auto Body there and they'll be able to install that for you. But the other option is an H pipe, which is kind of what I got set up now. And the difference there is that the H pipe is gonna give you less rasp and more of a deeper exhaust note. But either way, either setup that you go with, they're gonna range roughly from $100 to $400, really depending on the brand and the year. So it's funny, even the brand, if you look at an X pipe 
pipe or an H pipe, they're gonna range from literally $100 to $400. Whether you go with a standard CJ Pony part setup, or you can go with Borla or Corsa, but they are going to range in price quite substantially, believe it or not. So I did wanna mention that. But then the last option you can go ahead and go with is a full catback exhaust system. Of course, that is gonna be substantially more expensive, ranging from $1,000 to $2,000, again, depending upon the year. And that is actually what I have on Stegosaurus now. The difference there is it is gonna be a much louder exhaust note than just your standard resonator delete. But again, it's gonna be more expensive for reference. I have an AWE touring catback exhaust system on Stegosaurus right now. It goes for $1,645 in case anybody was interested. Once again, available on cjpodyparts.com. But since I mentioned it, let me go ahead and do a quick little exhaust clip for you guys. Just so you know what the AWE touring catback exhaust system actually sounds like. And then we'll move on to number four on the list. All right, and so number four on my list is going to be the emblems. And so in case you guys don't already know, the Ford Mustang comes with chrome emblems, chrome pony logo up front. You got either the chrome pony logo in the back or GT lettering, and then you have the 5.0 lettering if you go with the V8 on the front fenders. But as I said, it is finished in chrome and there really is no other chrome on the Mustang unless you go with the pony package, of course, and then it kind of works. But if not, then I feel like it's kind of gonna look a lot better if you go with some gloss black emblems or matte black emblems, both are available, of course, because everything else on the Mustang is black, so why not tie it all together, right? And this is a relatively inexpensive modification, again, and kind of I feel like it should have come standard. And actually the Mustang does offer a black accent package from the factory that gives you this but the way I am telling you right now through CJ Pony Parts it's going to be a heck of a lot less expensive if you go this route but nonetheless Pony Emblem, GT Emblem and 250 Emblems all come in a package deal or you can buy them separately but the package deal is going to run you roughly $100 to $200 depending on the year of your Mustang and it definitely looks a heck of a lot better than the Chrome Emblems unless again I went with the Pony package which would have given me Chrome window surrounds and some other Chrome trim and then it would have made sense but other than that definitely love the look that I have here and these are gloss black black emblems because there are matte black available as well. I wanted to mention that too. Now let me go ahead and touch on my last essential modification I would recommend for any Ford Mustang owner being the tires. And so this is really only essential if you don't get a Performance Pack 1 or Performance Pack Level 2 Mustang, because if you didn't get one of those two, therefore you have all season tires actually. And when you have 460 horsepower, 420 pound feet of torque, if you pair that up with all season tires, you're gonna get a heck of a lot of spinning. And that really does not allow you to fully utilize the power that you have under the hood so really what's the point of a mustang then so what i would recommend if you don't go with one of those performance packs is go ahead and add some summer tires to whatever wheel setup that you currently have and so pricing for a new set of summer tires is actually going to range depending of course upon your wheel size and they do differ drastically the wheel sizes from the factory so they're going to range from 550 dollars for a set of four to around 1200 dollars again depending upon the wheel size i actually have nitto nt 555 g2 tires i definitely have liked them so far. I got roughly 8,000 miles in Stangosaurus so far and they've held up perfectly fine for me. They actually have probably the longest tread life of any summer tire. I remember seeing that when I was looking at a Consumer Reports magazine last. It has a 65,000 mile tread life which is insane, the most compared to any other summer tire out there. Not gonna be quite as grippy as some of the other tires, for instance, like Michelin Pilot Sport 4Ss or something like that, but still, tread life of 65,000 miles is definitely pretty ridiculous, I love that. But so anyways, that pretty much rounds out my top five essential mods video for the Mustang. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe it gave you some ideas. Again, link in the description box below for cjponyparts.com. You can get 6% off using CJ Social 6 if you wanted to go that route. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Recently started a TikTok if you wanted to see Stangosaurus on TikTok. It's pretty cool. But nonetheless, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews and Stangosaurus videos, of course. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.